Okay, who's the best player on Syracuse? Is it Tucker Dordovic, Brendan Curry, Drake Porter, Steven Rafis, Owen Hiltz? Hey guys, it's Jake with Lax Weekly, and today we're settling a debate that I have with my friends all the time. Who's the best player on every college lacrosse team? So I'm gonna go through the top 20 teams this year and decide who I think is their best player. And given all the talent this year, this is not going to be easy. But I do know everything about lacrosse and I'm humble, so that does help out. With all that being said, let's dive into this, starting with the number one team in the country, UNC. Okay, so I feel like here you have to go with either Chris Gray at attack or Will Bowen at defense. They are arguably the best two players at their position right now, but obviously you gotta go with Gray. This guy is on a tear and he's the best player at UNC, plain and simple. That brings us to number two Duke, and I mean, let's list out all their talent. Michael Sowers, Brennan O'Neill, Joe Robertson, Nakai Montgomery, JT Giles Harris, Mike Adler, like this is ridiculous. Any of these guys could be the best players on most college lacrosse teams. But you know I gotta take Michael Sowers here. I think he's the best player in college lacrosse. And now at number three, Maryland, we got so much talent. Jared Bernhardt, Logan Wisnowskis, Danny Maltz, and Brett Maycar at defense, just to name a few. I mean, Wisnowskis and Bernhardt are always neck and neck points wise, and Maycar is a lockdown defender, but I gotta give it to Jared here, he's just too good. Now on to number four, Georgetown. Jake Carraway is one of the top offensive guys in the country, but James Riley, their faceoff man, is facing off at over 71% right now, and their goalie, Owen McElroy, is saving it at over 67%. But I'm gonna have to go with Carraway here this man is elite ah <sighs> okay i know it had to happen eventually syracuse they're literally so stacked i mean drake porter best goalie in the country probably tucker dordovic brendan curry jamie trimboli three of the best midfielders in the country steven rafis and owen hiltz their top two leading scores who am i supposed to pick here my heart wants to say tucker dordovic because this guy's just so talented but i gotta go with the top goalie in the country drake porter next at number six we have rutgers and this is very difficult yet again you got adam charlambides their leading scorer or connor curse the villanova transfer who's tearing it up right now and his brother colin is a goalie and he's saving it at over 50 percent i think i'm gonna go with connor curse on this one but i'm curious to see whether you like charlambides better i feel like that guy's been playing at rutgers for 10 10 years. Coming in hot at number 7 we have Army, and I'm just gonna flat out give it to the country's most underrated offensive lacrosse player. Yeah, I said it. Brendan Nickturn. He's averaging more than 6 points a game right now and has proven he can play against pretty much anyone. Okay, so that brings us to number 8 Notre Dame, and this is a tough one. We got Pat Cavanaugh attack who averages 6 assists a game. But then we got the country's top faceoff man right now, Kyle Gallagher, who's facing off at a casual 86%. I'm usually very biased toward offense for this one, but I gotta give it to my man, Kyle Gallagher. He was a much needed addition to Notre Dame, and he's facing off at 86%. I mean, I know it's only a few games, but that's absolutely crazy. Now at number 9 we got UVA and this is another really hard one because okay you got Connor Schellenberger who has 10 more points than Matt Moore but Matt Moore is obviously more established. You get it? More established? Dang I bet like half of you just clicked off the video. And you can't forget about Jared Connors at long pole. He's one of the top poles in the nation. But anyways I love Shelly and I think he's going to be a big name we talk about for a long time. But we got to give it to Matt Moore. He's the best player on UVA. So number 10 is Lehigh, and I'm gonna go with another face-off guy, Mike Sisselberger, great name by the way, who's facing off at over 75%. Next we have Denver, and ooh, this one's tough. Okay, I'm not gonna count TD because he hasn't played yet, but we have Jackson Morrill, Ethan Walker, or Jack Hanna. I love Jack Hanna. I think he's one of the best middies out there. Ooh, but I gotta give it to Moral. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Moral. By the way, you can always subscribe to the free Lax Weekly email newsletter packed with tips on how to become a better lacrosse player. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go subscribe now. 
At number 12, we have Loyola, and I'm going with either Aiden Olmstead or Kevin Lindley. Olmstead does have more points right now, but I think Lindley could be in the conversation for best crease attackman, so I'm going to go with him. And at number 13, we have UMass, and straight up, I'm going with Jeff Trainer. That's all I have to say about that. Ooh, okay, at number 14, we have Ohio State. This is kind of difficult. Do you pick Ryan Tarafenko, probably the best short stick D midi, or do you pick their leading scorer, Jack Myers, or do you pick the legend himself, Trey LeClaire? Hmm, I'm gonna have to go with Tarafenko here, although I really want to give it to LeClaire. Nah, I'm sticking with Tarafenko. Ooh, okay, at number 15, we have Johns Hopkins, and Connor DeSimone is heating up, and he has more points than Joey Epstein. But I just feel like Joey Epstein is too talented not to be chosen. I still want him to return to his freshman year form, but I'm still saying he's the best player on Hopkins. Number 16, we have Navy, and I'm just going to give it to their goalie, Spencer Reese, who has a 65% save percentage. I feel like that's just classic Navy to have a really good goalie for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Number 17, we have Penn State, and okay, this is kind of tough. We have Mac O'Keefe, Colby Kanis, or their leading scorer right now, TJ Malone, who has two times more points than anyone else on the team. That's awesome, but I still got to give it to O'Keefe. I think he's the most talented player on Penn State. Changed my mind. Okay, at number 18, we have Delaware, and I'm sorry, I don't think I've ever watched a full Delaware game, so I'm going to give it to Charlie Kitchen. I feel like I see his name around a lot. And to round out at 19, Vermont, I'm giving it to Liam Limoges. Sorry if I completely butchered your name. And at 20, Hofstra, this is pretty easy, Ryan Tierney. So that is a correct list of the best players on the top 20 teams. Like I said before, I know everything and I don't make mistakes. But if you feel like I left someone out, comment down below who that is and what video I should make next. I'm Jake with Lax Weekly. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.